constantly uh, disappointed with the political activism of the LGBT community, but just the political awareness maybe is, is something that is disappointing, particularly in the younger generations. And I wouldn't say it is so much uh, spread in, although there, is, there are many examples of, of the LGBT people who, who seem to, to be actively engaged I'd say it's much more widespread amongst young generations. So that is it. Is it Angela? It is Angela. So, um, you keep going on about the complacency of the LGBT political movement, and how, how can you not notice that the trans movement has been politically active, solid, like every day, every minute, every second, about the last three years, and the poor LGBT kids who've got nothing to protest about work with us and are working really, really fucking hard at trying to get this message across. And we work together in many places, and quite big. We had Dyke March last year, we had Slut Walk. How can you say we do nothing? We do as much as we physically can without having mental breakdowns to try and get our cause across. And I'm very much don't like to say that we do not do far more. I understand, but I never use the term. You've said it two or three times. No, You're pissed off with the lack of uh, complacency within the LGBT community. There's a widespread complacency. I didn't say there's a complete complacency. Yeah, I think Patrick's referring to people like my brother who they, they sort of have it all, they're happy, and they think quite often they they don't realise that they're allies, they could be living after. But the, I mean, Patrick, Patrick does do his bit to inspire. Yeah, I think there are people who are very busy. Sure, yeah. And in younger generations, as in the older generations, it's just that I think I perceive, and I may be wrong, but from my personal viewpoint, I see a certain widespread complacency amongst my generation of younger people. But I don't see that I don't agree with you, so it's fair enough. I see a lot of work going on, a lot of close friends, a lot of people on the edge of breakdown most of the time, working very hard, having to go up, uh, leave England, the FMB concept of the in Continual work. We're so active. We're even active on ourselves. I think. I think. I think everyone here acknowledges there's a lot of activism. It's just a lot of a lot of other people can join us. I mean, I'm going to have closing remarks now. I mean, Canada 24. We have a very large LGBT population of people like you know, Angela, Ray, Timothy. Loads of people are involved, and there are always others who could be involved. So it's, it's, all, it's all about definition. I'd like people like my twin brother to say, um, "Okay, can I come and help, even if I'm." go to the gay bars, can I take these hate crime leaflets with me and put them up? And Tessa's kind of going to come out and give some of these updates. Some of these updates. So, yeah, I don't think it's about complacency like that. I think it's everyone who's perhaps reaped some of the benefits of activists um, that we all know about could give something back. And Angela, I work in this 24-7. I mean, I see all the great work that's been done, but I think there are people who could join us as well. Yeah. Right, well, I'm going to close by giving a wonderful panelist some amazingly expensive French wine from La Salana Tempanillo, is that French? But it was lager for you, is it? Australia. Oh, you get the same as. as so I'd like to give a massive round of applause to. <laughs> and very briefly, last call to action. There are lots of things we can do locally as well as nationally. I mean, look at the Paris television station that came down to look what we were doing in the global council. Yeah, we did class on a shoestring budget in the new ground with local people, lots of whom are in this room, so you can do it, etc., who help us go out as ambassadors to the venues, and they've been filming us and documenting what we're doing, and hopefully we'll see these things happening all over, so it all starts locally. So if people do want to get in touch with Camden LGBT Forum, Google it, come and talk to me or Tessa afterwards, and there are schools where people get involved, there are hate crime campaigns, there's a lot of the positive cultural and artistic stuff that we do. There's some artists like Victoria who are in Loudest Whispers in February. And you know, if you want to be poetry, we've got insight, 
And we've also got a one day week volunteer coordinator who can talk to you about your skills and ambitions and what you want to get out of volunteering. So that's my final call to action. So thank you. That's, that's it. Patrick and Lisa, and a, a massive thank you to Tace who couldn't be with us today. She's had an accident, but she was going to be on the panel, and she and Yoshi has helped us uh, for a better role. So a round of applause for Berk. Thank you. As a former UCL Union Chair, I should have remembered that as Perfect Students Union, not Berk. I don't Um, upstairs we have a bar, which is a student union bar.